I come from a family in Brazil uh, that was arrested uh, during the dictatorship, uh, had to go to exile. So for me, democracy is a value that I really can't think of you know, losing it or abandoning it in any way. Democracy is always something that you need to fight for. Latin American Caribbean is a region that, of course, uh, has as a, the most pressing issue, inequality. But inequality expressed differently in different areas. We have 11% of the global population and more than one third of the homicides in the world. And those homicides, they don't affect equally uh, the people of Latin America and the Caribbean. The most affected people are the poorer people, are the ethnic minorities. Growing in Brazil and seeing inequality with my own eyes, racism, the poverty, the violence against women that we have in the country, I always thought I had no option but to dedicate my life to fight those inequalities, to fight for justice and to fight for democracy. Latin America is a region that has suffered with authoritarianism for a long time. And I think in the last decades, we saw democracy flourish in most of the continent. Democracy is the only path to allow diversity, to allow different voices, to allow the people itself and the interest of the most vulnerable people to be part of the collective project of each country. For me, open societies are societies that allow people to develop the best of themselves. And this requires freedom, this requires space for people to fight, to transform its societies. Being in a place like Open Society right now is a big honor and it's a big opportunity. Our achievements many times is the achievements of the grantees and the organizations that we support. In the last decade or so, we are seeing a much stronger women's rights movement that is achieving concrete results in Chile, in Argentina, in Mexico. Same thing with the racial justice movement, particularly in Brazil and in Colombia, that you know are also gaining access to power. At the same time, uh, we were working directly with uh, uh, governments too, not only with civil society. We were able to support the city of Bogota to establish a system that could help specifically women to have economic development in Colombia. We also supported many cities and local governments in Mexico, in Colombia, in Brazil to reduce homicides. When the pandemic came, we went to two Amazonian governments in Brazil and gave a big support for them to fight the pandemic and to fight the social consequences that the pandemic had in the region. When you see someone with a very good idea coming from a vulnerable uh, uh, background and they come to you saying, we really think we can change the world. This is something that really inspires us and you know, it's uh, something that makes our day full of meaning.